Hey guys, it's Mitchell along with James, and we're taking a look at Fez. This is a kind of an early look at uh, this game. It's an indie title. That is Would you call it a first look? Yeah, let's call it a first look. Because I haven't seen it. Yeah. You don't know anything about this game? Uh, well, not much. I do know that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of 80s references, or maybe really early 90s. Like, so early 90s, it's 1989. And you just go, you're just going by the, the opening, uh... Tile screens. Tile screens. And this screen, look at how <laughs> A looks. That yeah. totally looks like an old school A. Uh, not there, quite... there is no A in Fez. Press A to Oh, start. okay. There is no A in Fez. <laughs> I thought we were looking you... at different title screens. See, Ooh. and that, that was like a, that reminded me of, this reminds me of like old school space flight simulators. Yeah. That's how they do stars. Oh, and it's working. <laughs> it's like the old Windows screensaver. Yeah. It's like we're going to hyperspeed right now. All right, so pay attention. This is all, this is all really important here. I am paying attention. Do you think that That's I'm important? <gasps> He's naked. Get some clothes on. <laughs> Get some clothes on, Fez. I don't, have you ever played? Have you ever played uh, Cave Story? His name is actually not Fez. His name is Gomez. Oh, which are both things that remind me of uh, the Adams Family. Yeah, Th this uh, the graphics of the, in the art style of this game is very similar to Cave Story, which is another uh, indie darling. So, is there good music going? On? No, oh, you don't have uh, headphones, huh? No. Uh, not right now. Right now, you. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Is it like 8 bit sounds? Or yeah. Is it... nice. you walk up to the mailbox. Press X to read mail. That's not a mailbox, is it? Dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Geezer. Geezer? Geezer. But he's old. <laughs> oh, that's not even a joke. Gomez! Gomez! Hi, Gomez! Alright. A to jump. So right now it's pretty standard uh, 2D platformer, Gomez's house. Did you see the thing that said look around? Uh, oh yeah, you can look around by uh, using the right stick. Click I... it to reset it back to the normal position. What's your favorite shape? Mine is square. Not cube, that's for sure. Because there is no such thing. Well then how does he know what a oh, cube is? This so, reminds me of something called the Flatlands, where everything existed in a in a I believe it was a one dimensional plane. That's exact well two dimensional plane. The then two dimensions is where where it two came. dimension is left and right. Yeah, but in in, in Flatlands it mm -hmm. might have been two dimension and then went three, but mm -hmm. I thought it was one dimension and then went two. Well no, two dimension is X Y. So well yeah, I know what up. the dimensions are! Okay. That's not what I'm, sure. I'm, I'm talking about Flatlands <laughs> and where it started. Uh-huh. Do you remember that one? Yeah, you're looking nice and flat today. Yeah. So yeah, obviously uh mm -hmm. we're living in a two D world right now. And if we go up here, we talk to the geezer. Ah, there you are. There are you. <laughs> it's Gomez time! Anytime now. Just you. So there exciting. you go. Oh no! Oh. They brought a three dimensional object into the world! <laughs> but now it's 2D again. And now it's 3D! What's going on? Wow. Imagine if our 3D world suddenly became a 2D world game. Uh, I don't think... I, I think I'm one of the few people that can survive, and I guarantee you'd survive. Probably <laughs> Zach would survive, but there's a lot of unprepared people. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what did you just post? I don't know. It was, it was, uh, it was just other possible. other worldly language stuff. I couldn't read it, so I said it's on board. In all likelihood, it was the answer to our questions. <laughs> it's like crossword stuff. I can't believe it's going too fast. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, this is awesome. Watch this. I'm watching. How do you know? Is this not a first look for you? Well, I, I played through the first chapter. Cheater. Cheater. Sorry, I like to be prepared doing my first looks. <laughs> this is cool. Like the particle effect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they spent a lot of money working on that. Mm -hmm. The titular Fez hat. Oh. oh, there's the oh moment. Now that oh. now we know why it's called Fez. Uh -oh. 
Oh, and it fits right there like it should. <laughs> Is there some what? epic music happening now? Kinda. Oh my god! Look at that! 2D, 3D, 2D, 3D, what's going on? Exploding. There can't be 3D, three dimensions in a two dimensional world. You're breaking the game! Oh, it totally looks like a game that was breaking back in the 80s. <laughs> now watch this. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is the opening! Yeah, they do it again. Trapdoor. So did you beat the game? I beat the game. <laughs> Or did it just begin? Oh boy. Here we are back at the start. Can you switch the perspective here? Are you ready to have your mind blown, James? I am. Oh! oh! I love it. This is insane. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I need to see more of this. Oh. It's like it's beautiful. My mind is blown. This is a completely different area, but it's the same. This is like a dot finding out for the first time. It's really a line. <laughs> or a line finding out for the first time that it's a two-dimensional shape. <laughs> or a two-dimensional shape finding out that it's a human being. Alright, so this is oh. Dot. Oh, cool! Dot! This is exactly what- this yeah. is philosophical stuff we're talking about here. Shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There's a world beyond your village. And dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This door leads to the outside world. But for now, this shield sh I said shield shut. It's okay. Uh, I'm really <laughs> excited about the story, and you know what, though? I feel like right now we're on a predestined path. Yeah. I'm not talking about just a regain fest. I'm saying we did the Stanley Parable. Uh -huh. It was all about this same concept. Yeah, we have been kinda. given this concept in the gaming world twice in a row within seven days. It's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. This right. isn't an so, accident. So we, we need to find all 32 cubes, but first we must leave this place. How do we do that, Mr. Dot? There are eight cube bits in this village. Like this one right here. Together they'll form a full cube which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. I like it. Shiny gold cubes are very important. They they recap it for you. Just and is that a shiny gold cube? That is a shiny yes, that is a shiny gold cube. No pressure. Got it! We got number one! And there's how many? There's eight in this in this area, 32 in all it said. Alright, you ready to get your mind blown again? Yeah. Whoa! Oh. oh my gosh, Mitch. Now we can get up here. There's a cube right there. There's you another see it, right? cube, I see it. Am Hold I on. crazy or is that a shiny golden cube? You got it. You got Two. It. Let's see what's in this house. Gotta get to the door first. Here? Doesn't look like it. Well, it's I see. been so long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Oh, he has a Fez hat too. He's old Fez. He's old Fez. Plus, there's the eye thing. Uh, oh. Turn it more. Oh. What, what did you want? Nothing. It wasn't Not a golden cube, but it was something that looked like a red herring. What happens if you switch perspective on the bridge? On the bridge? I'll show you. It's pretty weird. Yeah. Okay. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> but cool nonetheless. Alright, let's see what uh, Miss Lady says. I wonder if the uh, the broken English is intentional. That's non It has to be intentional. That's non possible. <gasps> I bet you there's a theme to it. That was really pretty. Don't do it again. There's a treasure chest over there. I'll get that after. Check what's in this house. There's a gold oh, cube. cube! We are getting closer and closer. We are 
almost 50%. Yeah. Alright, next. What you say? Oh, well, yes, it's the same one. Oh, I'm not gonna make it! Oh, no! Well, that was okay. That's okay. There's a golden cube! Got another one! You gonna get to that treasure chest? Yeah. I'm gonna get in this house, though, first. There's another golden cube. Another I have this feeling you knew where these golden cubes <laughs> were. Well, well, why would you ever say that? Because you're going pretty quickly into them, and you're not nearly as surprised as I feel. All right, let's, let's figure out how to get over there. Oh, well, you can walk the tightrope. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's just like that game for PlayStation called, um... What was it called? It was called, uh... Echo Chrome. Yeah. It's, uh, very similar to Echo Chrome. Is it playing the Zelda song? Or it, it? It's similar. It's not exactly the Zelda song, but it's pretty similar. All right, so we got five. We need three more. Let's get up here. There's a golden cube on top. Yeah. So how are we gonna get over there? Well, let's change perspective. We got this over here. Oh, Isn't that so cool? a lot like it. I like it. Oh. All right, two more. I think there's... But it does feel dangerous when you do things like this. Like every action has a reaction, and there might be consequences to playing with the two, the, the reality like this. Uh -huh. I think you're you're really looking into this uh, whole philosophical thing, aren't you? Well, I I you know I worry about playing too much with reality because <laughs> uh, if you pull a string one We're place, it might it might make an action somewhere else. Never win there. Never win. There was a golden cube there, but you could have spun it around. Maybe there was a golden cube in the hiding somehow. Maybe. Should I check again? No. <laughs> well, what is that? Did we go in here yet? I think so. there's a keyhole upstairs. Yeah, we don't have a key though. I thought you would have gotten that from the treasure chest. Ooh. Didn't you get the key from the treasure chest? Didn't you get the key from the treasure chest? No, we didn't. What did we get? Uh, oh, did we? Oh, look at that. Oh, you're right, I did get a key from I knew chest. I was right! <laughs> I knew I was right! Mitch! I wasn't paying attention. And there's another key, another but key. don't pretend like you didn't already have one. I guess I could have pointed out that you had a key on your inventory. Yeah. That would have helped. Oh, I guess it disappears sometimes. this. Ooh, is this a map? If that's a map to all the golden cubes when we got two left, we would be angry. Figure it out yourself. Well, how do I use it? Is that all that was in that room? You didn't spend very much time. Alright, alright, James. Spinning around. You're right. I should be exploring these work rooms more thoroughly. You just happen to already see it. See, that looks like a picture of a gold cube there. Yeah. I saw that in a different room. Oh, I just... I think I, I almost killed myself there, it looked like. Can you kill yourself by spinning it? I don't think so. Alright, let's find this last cube. We went into... Let's try it. I know I'm it's in a couple sure more of these houses. All these rooms. Nope. But not this one! Not except for this one. This is the only one we didn't go through. So now there's one last cube? One last cube. I'm pretty sure there's one more room we haven't been in. Really? It feels like we've been in all of them. You think this one? Well, let's try it. I'm pretty sure actually. Do we the have doors stay open after you come in? No, they don't. I think it's actually. Oh, there it, it is. is! Talk to her. She's beautiful. She is. Would you date a two-dimensional person? Uh... I mean, if you weren't already with someone... If I was a two-dimensional person? No, I'm saying, can you get beyond your... your... Your dimensions? Your dimensions. Would you date a two-dimensional person? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Okay. I don't know how that would work. Well, I'm not saying... I mean, relationships are tough. It doesn't always work easy. Yeah. Uh, would, would you date a four-dimensional person? What's a four-dimensional person? Well, I mean, I don't want to get into it. I don't really know. A, I mean, a three-dimensional person that's very deep? 
Well, no, you know what a four-dimensional person would, would uh, I mean, just think of it. There's there's height, width, uh -huh. depth. Those, yeah. are three, those are the three dimensions we uh -huh. live in. And then time. Oh. So this person wouldn't exist right here just now. Oh. This person would would exist always. Would you be able to, to date somebody that was... Yeah, you know what? Four dimensional. That sounds exciting. It does. Yeah. All right, the door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? I think we're ready. But hey, a four dimensional hey, person. Hey, listen! I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Oh, Press that's... back to bring up the world map. And that's what that's the map was. So uh, we'll, we'll go with the first twenty minutes of this game. So we'll go a little bit longer. Uh, I think that's what the map was that you got. Yeah. Cool. This is the world map. It shows where you've been. You can zoom in and out using left uh, bumper and right bumper. So one thing about a four-dimensional person that you'd be dating is you'd have to trust them uh, to not spoil things for you because they, if they always, if they're timeless, then they at the beginning of the movie will have already seen the end of it, mm -hmm. and you'd have to trust them not to ruin the end of Sixth Sense for you, <laughs> like you always do. Every time. Every time you get a chance. Bruce Willis is dead. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Nobody that watches Gamefront will ever be surprised watching that. Let's see. There's cubes. So, there. so each I world's gonna have eight cubes. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like it. Yeah. Makes sense. That. No, you're gonna want to go. Yeah, yeah, this way. But you can probably. And then I'm gonna switch it again after I get that. Be able to get up this. Yep. Oh. oh my God! You scared me. Mitch. I know. I can. I, I. I knew I can make that jump. I think that's the last one, right? Wow. This is. It's pretty cool. Good job. Thank that you. was not nearly the. Uh, the detective work. The other. Oh! oh! Poor Fez. He's okay. He's okay. Don't worry about it. I can get. Oh, I need two cubes. Oh, never mind. I got it. You only needed two. Yeah, I had two. But you had eight, so do you get to save those. No, ones? every every small bit, every one you find is a bit, and eight bits makes up a cube. Oh, that makes sense. Eight bits makes up a cube, but you just used two bits to get in there. Yeah, well, I used two cubes to get in there. Two cubes. Yeah. But you used one cube to get into this world, so you can keep the cube even if you yeah. used it. So now you need three cubes to get through. No, the four. Looks like three. It's four. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you don't have to fill up all those cubes, do you? Yeah, eventually. This is a much more difficult game than I thought. <laughs> now go find them cubes. This is amazing. Oh, got that. Oh, and one more thing. Alright, well, what did we find? We got treasure map. Oh, that's not the same map as before. I'm not sure I understand what this map is telling it's me. It's quite simple. Yes? That's it. I was going to say, it's quite simple. Oh, well, it's, it looks like about an 8-bit. <laughs> it's 8-bits. It's a very simple map. I don't understand it, but it's certainly not complex. <laughs> now, what's going on with that liquid? Can you climb it? That's a stupid question. <laughs> Can you put a cube in those holes? I don't know. Can you did, go, did I go through here? No. I think this is a loading screen. Interesting. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I think that this is as good of a place as any to. Uh, to put into this video. What do you think, James? I can't wait to get it. When's yeah. this come uh, out? You're not going to like it, James. It's an Xbox exclusive right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get an Xbox. I, I mean, they got some awesome arcade games. Yeah. But I just, you know... They, they have said, uh, the developer has said that they're looking to put it on more platforms. I'm sure this game's going to be a huge hit. It's going to be on Steam eventually. It's going to be on PSN. Oh, I'll wait for it to get on. Uh, don't uh, don't take my word Xbox. for it. I'm just saying... I. I can only imagine this game's gonna do well. It's a, it's an amazing it's, game. Yeah, it's, cool. it's going to be the, the next 
big indie hit, I think. And yeah, thanks for watching our first look of Fez. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.